What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games and the game for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has leaked online and we're gonna be covering what we know so far and I can't believe the game is leaking this early. This is phenomenal and of course guys if you're new to the channel please subscribe, like the video, I really appreciate it. Starting off with Riddler Koo, Riddler Koo says it is happening. Yes, the game is has leaked online. Railer Koo has confirmed that there was a leaker earlier today who posted two images. And Railer Koo says, we will break down all the riddles when the game gets officially released, so you see it later, but we will still make comments about the process. Enjoy the show. He also says, suggestions for you who may have the game already, play slowly. You don't have the day one patch, and it's risky AF to get buried in bugs. So apparently, if you do have the game right now, the game is incredibly buggy without the day one patch, and you may get into a soft lock situation where you cannot proceed. So, you know, if you do get it, just be careful and play slowly. But I wish I had it personally, because I would definitely just be running through the game right now myself. And we do know that people have the game because, one, it is about 18 days away from release now. And Centro says major media outlets will be getting the review copy soon, starting early next week, and that's about tomorrow. So we know reviewers are going to have the game. Nintendo has sent threatening letters to other leak accounts, potentially anticipation of C&Ds if they post any leaks. So we do know that Nintendo sent one of the bigger Twitter accounts, Cory Leaks, a cease and desist letter about data mining the game. So we know that the game is already out in the wild because Nintendo has essentially confirmed that the game is out in the wild and they're hitting up leakers right now with cease and desist letters, essentially saying, hey, if you leak the game, we're going to sue you and that's going to suck for those people. So those people are going to be more chill. I will be posting any images I do see for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in these videos up and coming. So stay tuned for that type of content and maybe even on my Twitter account as well, but you can definitely follow up Panfro underscore games on Twitter. Now here are the two leaked images for Scarlet and Violet floating around, which is confirming the Chinese Riddler is correct that the game has a leaked. So Soul Silver Art says, attention to all my followers. This was posted by the Chinese Riddler, who is a very credible source. This means that Scarlet and Violet may actually be leaking as we speak. I'm still waiting for more information, but you don't want leaks now. Time to mute hashtags in words. So this is on Chinese social media right here. And we have two legit images. The first image here is of the box. We have not seen what the boxes look like yet in Scarlet and Violet. And here we have it. This person picked Spriggerito as their starter and they caught Pikachu. So Pikachu is confirmed an early game Pokemon, which is pretty cool. And here's the really exciting one. Charmander is available in the game too. So we already knew it was available, but we thought it was gonna be a Pokemon home transfer. So either one of two things happened, right? So one, which I don't think happened, but potentially I saw some people saying that, well, maybe the person who has the game was able to hack into it and was able to put Charmander immediately into it. I don't think that's a reality here. The game's too new. It's not even day one patch. Like there's no modding tools yet for the game. There will be in the future, but not at this moment, right? What I do believe it is, is a save data gift Pokemon. So we saw this in Brilliant Diamond, Shining and Pearl. If you had a Pokemon Sword and Shield save, you were able to get Jirachi, I believe. And if you had a Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu save, you were able to get Mew. So what I believe here is if you got a Sword and Shield save data on your game, or maybe a Legends Arceus, but it'll make more sense to be a Sword and Shield save data, then they will give you a level five Charmander at the beginning of the game. Which makes a lot of sense because Leon's ace Pokemon is Charizard. So, and he also gives you a Charmander at the end of the game too in the post game. So, that's what I'm suspecting here. It makes the most sense. I mean, unless the image is fake, but I do trust this guy. If you're a fan of Charizard, it looks like you'll be able to get Charmander beginning of the game if you do have a save for Sword and Shield on your Switch already. And then the Uncle Chinese Riddler said in reply to his image post, said a layer in the original post, although you can't tell if the person on the anonymous website I want to post more, but I'm scared. I don't want to go to prison. By the way, if you are impatient, don't follow this post. There are still three weeks and the process must be long. Moreover, in the absence of the first day patch this time, according to overseas news, as well as my own source, Zuzi said this time may not be able to play normally to the end you taste, you taste carefully. So this is just reiterating that if you do not have the day one patch, you may not be able to actually beat the game because the game released in an unfinished state unless you connect to the internet and download that patch. Because of this message, I'm not sure how many more images we are going to be getting from this source. However, because the game 
is being shipped out right now. I'm sure plenty of other people will start leaking gameplay and images, and eventually we'll get to that full-on data mine too. And we know the data mine will be completely released on the day the game comes out in New Zealand. So that'll actually be November 17th for us in the US because there's so much further of us ahead of time. So once that happens, we'll have a full data mine. But for images now, it's going to be hit or miss when exactly we're going to be getting more leaks. But I do assume that we're probably going to be getting a trailer this Tuesday on November 1st to kick off the month. And it makes sense to start off this month with a big marketing push. There was another image going around here today with the rookity on the left. And apparently the rookity has been confirmed fake so the rookie was supposedly leaking the steel type terror type which is going to be a screw hat however that is all but deconfirmed now pretty much we can see when you compare this rookie to the competitive trailer with the rotom here you can see that the place looks much darker when the terrestrialized mechanic is activated image on the right took one on the same place shown so we can see how much lighter this is, but it's actually supposed to be this dark. That is a deconfirmed leak. So if you see people post that, make sure to tell them that this is a false leak. We also have a couple of small riddles to cover before we wrap up here. So Riddler Koo says, choose one that's not in the fairy hat. So the fairy hat seems to be a bunch of decorations on the hat. So it could be a heart, a cake, some wings or a ribbon and I do personally think that the hat is going to have a heart and it's going to be a cake hat that's going to have a ribbon and a heart on it but it's not going to be wings because I think the wings is way too flying motif for me personally he also says that I told you that fairy is boring electric is easy to guess which I think is going to be a light bulb for electric psychic is kind of terrifying which I wonder what that actually means I originally thought it was gonna be a spoon but maybe something actually scary and he says ground is fun, but would be misunderstood. So that's all our hints for the terror types. We still do not know what the steel one is, but I still personally think the steel one is going to be a screw in a head. And we have another new Pokemon hint from Riddler Koo. And Riddler Koo says, enjoy color hint, new one, red and green, two heads. So it pretty much is probably going to be something like this. We know that there is a grass and fire type Pokemon that is based on a hot pepper. And the fact that he said it has two heads means to me it's going to be very like wheezing in a way. So I can see two peppers growing into together. Maybe not skewered like this image. However, I can see something very similar to a wheezing situation. And I am personally really hyped for this Pokemon because fire and grass is such a good offensive type combination so it's going to be really interesting to see and i actually wonder what the shiny color is going to be for red and green maybe it'll be inverse color and there we have it guys that is all of the brand new leaks for pokemon scarlet and violet i am so excited for this game because we are literally right around the corner from the release and of course i'll be covering every single leaked image video or anything that comes from the game on this youtube channel so definitely subscribe if you're new and like the video and i'll catch you guys next time for more pokemon scarlet and violet action peace out and have a great one <laughs>